The chest really does need no introduction. The chest is one of the most famous muscles of all time. With it even being common to hit chest day, you don't really see a single muscle group getting trained as hard as chest does. But, how do we train chest, and is chest really that important? As with most muscles, the chest is actually a bunch of tiny muscles with one large one, the pectoralis major. It is divided into two parts, the sternal, lower, and clavicular, upper head. The chest controls what is called transverse shoulder adduction, which in layman's terms is bringing your whole arm inward. And the upper head also assists in what is called shoulder flexion, bringing your whole arm upward, as well surprisingly it helps assist in rotating your whole arm. By far, the most famous chest exercise of them all is a bench press. And in my opinion, that's very warranted. The bench press is incredibly good at activating the chest. In fact, there's a direct correlation between chest size and how big someone's bench is. So essentially, if you have a big bench, you have big pecs. Going off of the barbell bench press, there's also the dumbbell bench press, which in my opinion is actually slightly better. Although admittedly, it does require more stability demands, and you can't progressively overload as well. With the barbell bench, you can simply add a two and a half pound plate. With a dumbbell bench, you gotta go up by five pounds, or depending on where you live, five kilos, which could be too much for the average person. A far more accessible exercise is a very famous push-up, which can also be very easily progressively overloaded. If you can't do a push-up, you got a knee push-up, or even a wall push-up. If you can't do too many push-ups, you got a decline push-up, and it gets even harder. Stuff like banded, deficit, and even a one arm or punch. Both, all of these work very well. So far, what I've mainly been talking about is movements that hit the entire chest at once. Some people understandably want to hit the upper chest more, so it gives that shelf look and gives a much more completed physique look. A way to do that is with the incline bench press, which helps with shoulder flexion, which again, upper chest does, or even a decline push up, which is pretty much the same thing as, as an incline bench press, except you're doing it on the floor. Another way to hit the upper chest, or even the entire chest very well, is a chest cable fly. Doing it from below hits the upper chest best, and doing it from above hits the lower chest best. Although there is a dumbbell variation, which in my opinion does have some merit, but overall is pretty mediocre. A phenomenal chest exercise is the dip. Although keep in mind, your shoulders and triceps will also be working very hard, as with they are in pretty much any chest movement. A way to decrease this in the dip is to lean slightly more forward and take a wider grip, which will emphasize the chest more. When it comes to the lower chest, not much work, if any, is needed when it comes to isolating it, since it already grows a lot from any traditional chest movement. So stuff like a decline bench press or incline push-up are kind of unnecessary. Another exercise is a dumbbell pullover, which is quite frankly pretty mediocre for the chest. It will see some chest activation, but it's much more of a tricep and lat exercise. There's another popular exercise popularized by Sam Sullett called the Crossbody Dumbbell Standing Fly. Ignoring its long name, it's honestly pretty mediocre. I've tried it a few times. I feel a decent amount of chest activation, but overall it's incredibly mediocre, and I would not recommend it. But if it does work for you, by all means go for it. All right. I'm gonna anger a lot of people when I say this. The chest gets overhyped. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna get booed for it. And admittedly, I say this coming from a standpoint of someone who has pretty good chest genetics, but it's not horribly important from an aesthetic standpoint. If you have overdeveloped shoulders, you just look cool. Overdeveloped arms, also cool. Overdeveloped chest, you just look like you have gyno. It just doesn't work. As long as your chest isn't completely lacking your physique, you're going to be fine. When it comes to volume, the chest is a larger muscle and therefore should not be hit as much as smaller muscles. Two, maybe three times a week on an upper or push day or however your split is. And in my opinion, chest days are pretty silly. You also want to hit chest earlier in your workouts as it is a larger muscle. So if you do dumbbell shoulder press, tricep press down, and then lateral raise, and then you do your chest work, you're gonna see a huge decrease in strength. 
So it is wiser to hit chest earlier in your workout, especially if you're doing a push day. My overall recommendation for chest exercises is one push-based movement, like the push-up or bench press, and then one stretch-focused movement, like the dip or fly. And if you want, you can add on an incline movement, like the decline push-up or an incline bench press, or you can make that your push movement. Again, this all works, and unless you're doing upwards of four, five, six exercises for your chest, you're all, you should be pretty much fine. And that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. It would help the algorithm. And yeah. See ya.